The Azores Islands just had a strong magnitude 4.8 earthquake at the mid-Atlantic ridge over the mantle plume that forms the volcanic islands there. Is this because of the pressure of the huge earthquakes that we've had in Turkey that are still going on up to this day? Now after, as we'll see at the map, after the Turkey earthquakes, we've had earthquakes over the Anatolia Fault, earthquakes in western Turkey, earthquakes uh, north of Greece and Albania, another one just today, 4.4. We've had a 4.4 uh, yesterday in uh, Italy. We've even had 4.9 uh, two days ago in Algeria, North Algeria, in the Atlas Mountains near Morocco. And uh, I'm not going to talk about the North England uh, earthquake out of nowhere on Stockton on Tees in the United Kingdom, 2.8. But we're going to perhaps find out that the pressure of the African plate from the Mediterranean Sea perhaps has come up and hit the area of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Let's take a look at that together because it could be that that, that plume is somehow feeling the pressure from the big earthquakes from Turkey. And we've also had a, an earthquake 5.2 in Iran just today as well. Here we are over the area of our earthquake. It's just about around there. And uh, as, you know, as you can see, this is the area of the Azores. It's in Greek because I live in Greece. But pulling out, you can see the area. All these are volcanic earthquakes, uh, volcanic islands, and where we, of course, uh, they have, this is the North Atlantic Ocean, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And these are the Azores, these are the Canary Islands over here. And uh, these belong to Portugal. And uh, this is where we have our area of pressure. Let's take this to the north like this. Okay, this is where we were. And this is where Turkey is. This is basically where we had the earthquake just above Syria, as we'll see on the map, and it's still going on. Iran had earthquakes as well around here, 5.1 we just said today. And basically it's the African plate, the tectonics of Africa pushing on um, the Mediterranean Sea, closing it up. We still have earthquakes here, we've had earthquakes here, we've had earthquakes in Albania, earthquakes in Italy, earthquakes in Algeria, and um, Let's take a look at this, a better look at this. Here we are, Seismo Berkeley, and this is today, 5.2, okay, Iran. 5.4 again, this is the area that we had the 6.9, okay, uh, a couple of days ago. And we've also had here 4.4 and in, in the Anatolia Fault in Turkey. We've had more here, as we can see. Uh, we just had another one here today, 4.4 in Albania. They're all about 10 kilometer depth, and this one is 23rd. This was very deep, okay? That was very deep, very deep. And uh, Algeria again, 4.9. And this is what we had today, the 4.8. And this is all, of course, in an area of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Uh, let's go to the map here. Right here, okay. As you can see, this is, these are the tectonics of it. This is where our earthquake took place. The Azores Islands, right there. All volcanic islands. They're sitting over a very deep mantle plume. This is Mid-Atlantic Atlantic Ridge, and this is the tectonic plate. This is the, uh, the African plate. This is the fault of the African plate. The tectonic fault. And moving out, we'll see where it is. And the earthquakes, of course. And this is Morocco, Algeria. And you can see all these are, these are volcanic, they, there are volcanoes here as well as here. And um, of course, Italy right here, and Greece right here, the Hellenic Arc. And this is where this area is right here. Actually, this one here over Syria is where we have the Euphrates River, that's Tigris, Euphrates River is where we've had the earthquakes over Turkey. That's it, the Euphrates River right there. 
that's the Tigris River, the Euphrates River, is where we've had our earthquakes over Turkey. And it's because of the something's happening there, bringing this uh, closer in. And perhaps I would venture to say that since we had all these earthquakes um, basically going towards the west, uh, it shows that we've had something's going on underneath and even hitting here today at the Azores, right? So let's go to this beautiful thing here. That's the mantle plume. This is on a volcano hotspot. Uh, the tectonics of it. These are the uh, Azores here. And this is the mantle plume going down 600 kilometers depth. 600 kilometers depth. 660 kilometers and way down, as we can see, the depth. Oh, that's in miles. That's 660 miles. It says miles. Okay. It's in miles, it says here. Miles. Okay. And um, this is our tectonics. This is the African uh, zone right here. And these are the tectonics. You can see the various fractures there. The depth in meters. This is in meters. Here we are again, the Azores microplate, and that's the African plate, and the fractures right here, and that is there at the North American plate. The North American plate, the Eurasian plate, and the African plate. So we can see that triple junction right there. And let's go back to our north again. The North American plate. Oops. The Euro European plate. And the African plate. Right there. And, um, hmm. I'm sorry. I don't want to. I'm not going to be a fear monger. I, uh, but just, uh, I just want to show you how close to this section we have the um, submarine uh, er, volcanoes off the east coast which are 30 volcanoes right there let's measure them let's measure them in miles in miles how many miles is that from here about 1,500 miles okay 1,500 miles and how many miles were we from Turkey from here 3,700 miles. From Turkey, the Euphrates River earthquakes, we were uh, over twice that distance. And in a couple of days, we've got the pressure hitting here at the Azores. And um, let's go back. So this is not that far, 1,500 miles to the, the uh, the submarine volcanoes off the east coast and we know that they're pointing this way and they, that's where we had a lot of earthquakes recently we've even had them around the uh, Great Lakes we've had them in Rhode Island we've had them off Boston we've had them off uh, uh, Philadelphia we've had them upstate New York uh, we've even had in uh, let's go to okay look okay let's go here where are we Okay, here we are, Canada. Canada, these quakes here, they stop about uh, around the Hudson Bay Shield, and they stop around here, as you can see. Let's go to the size of Berkeley. Okay, there's not that many there, but you can see we had, well, that's in Maine. Okay, Maine has, these are the volcanoes right here, and Maine has five volcanoes. Okay, there it is, five volcanoes, and uh, they're in, four of them are in a 100-mile distance. And uh, yes, we have volcanoes in Maine. Uh, there are people that have commented to me that when they, uh, not now, but like in the summer and uh, fall when they were taking beautiful nature walks around there, sometimes they would smell uh, some type of sulfur smell, which is not a good sign. 
because there are uh, volcanic gases being emitted if there's activity. But uh, all that, all those beautiful lakes on, um, you know, in, 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 in these uh, west eastern United States, all those beautiful lakes are volcanic craters. You know, you see all these beautiful mountains and you see all these beautiful lakes. Those are volcanic craters, this whole mess here. Uh, then we have this mantle plume under um, the Great Lakes and Earth arcing like this. This is a mantle plume here, the Cowenan Fault, and this is the Mid-Continental Rift. This has been uh, uh, active there since about a billion, 880 million years ago, about a billion years ago. And this part to the, the it's like a horseshoe type of shape. And there's a mantle, there's, there's magma underneath feeding that mantle plume. And um, this area here was much closer to Wyoming. Superior was much closer to Wyoming, but this area has rifted. It's a rift valley. Okay, just like we have in the Great Rift Valley in Africa that's splitting up. On the east, the Great Rift Valley here. Here, the Great Rift Valley going up around the Dead Sea, that thing and going through uh, Israel. It's happening also at the Great Lakes area. But I, I'm concerned here that this pressure looks to me that it has... Um, this is today's quake, by the way. Okay, 4.4. Okay, and this is still going on here. Okay. Um, this has uh, felt the pressure from 3,600 3, miles away. Uh, of course, they're ongoing. There's a lot of quakes there. Must be over tw 20 quakes there. And uh, we'll wait to see. Is this going to affect the seamount off the east coast? The east coast seamount of 30 volcanoes? Because it's closer. This is closer to here now. And this is a triple junction. Triple. The North American plate, the Euro the European plate, and the African plate. So let's go back to this. There we go, the Azores. That's a Gibra Azores Gibraltar fault. And um, there are nine islands that occupy a triple junction between North America, Africa, and Eurasia Plate, spreading center bound by the Mid Atlantic Ridge on the west and the Terceria Rift, northeast and east Azores fracture zone. General motion of the North American Plate is west northwest, going this way. 19 millimeters a year, that's pretty fast. The Eurasian plate moving northeast, going this way, at 5 millimeters a year, while activity along the East Azores fracture zone and the boundary between the Eurasian plate changes from general transform fault most of the way between the Azores to Spain, at which point it becomes a convergent plate boundary as it is traced through the length of the Mediterranean Sea. So it's splitting there. That's the tectonics of the Azores. North American plate going north-northwest and the uh, Eurasian plate going um, northeast. The triangular area is variously referred to as the Azores Plateau, Azores Rise, and the Azores Microplate. Its formation is believed to have begun some 36 million years ago. The area became more active some 5 to 10 million years ago, and the oldest rocks are dated to just over 1.8 million years ago. Hotspot? There is no small amount of discussion about precisely what the Azores Plateau and its islands actually are caused by. There's a good case to be made that it, it and the islands are simply products of spreading oceanic ridge. On the other hand, the mantle plume, say, uh, plume guys point out that the sheer volume of material making up the rise, all this, uh, and the apparent concentric aging of the islands from the current most active island, Pico. The problem with this is that the island ages do not necessarily lay out the concentric age pattern. Some do, but some don't. Now, just to thoroughly confuse the issue, Weiss and his colleagues noted in 2014 that the ridge jump and strong volcanism in the region are caused by inter the interaction of the hotspot with the mid-Atlantic ridge, and they believe that a moving hotspot, that a moving hotspot initiated the northward migration of the triple junction. After the hotspot passed the ridge, the newly constructed plateau rifted and normal seafloor spreading reestablished the Flores Corvo 
on the North American plateau and the rest of the islands. Involved mantle upwelling is partly responsible for the continued rifting process along the Terceria Rift, and the problem with this is that hot spots tend not to move around, rather it's the plates floating over them, over their locations over time. Other authors referenced in the White Paper believe the islands are young and do not exhibit a hotspot track in terms of age of progression from island to island. An alternative explanation is the enriched upper mantle dom domain with more volatiles than normal. Decompression of wet mantle caused by rifting tectonics is a final explanation. So nobody knows right now, though my thoroughly uneducated guess would be the volcanism is driven by the migration of the triple junction between the three primary, primary plates with little if any hotspot involvement. Behavior of triple junction is very different from subduction driven triple junctions previously discussed as two of its boundaries are spreading centers and the third is a transform fault that's not moving very much at all. So that's it. That's it. The migration Triple Junction, located 150 to 250 kilometers north of its location 36 million years ago. Its migration north is thought to have begun around the time the Iberian Peninsula, Spain, that is, uh, became part of the Eurasian Plate, and this changed the interaction between the Eurasian and African Plates. So that's the Triple Junction there, and uh, it looks to me that it's sort of ticked, it was ticked and jolted by what's happening in Turkey and uh, throughout the region, throughout this region. There you go. A lot of activity there. But uh, let's be careful on the East Coast because this is not at all far from the uh, uh, submarine volcanoes, the underwater volcanoes off the East Coast. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.